Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning. We are docked in Nassau in the Bahamas. The weather outside is so-so. It's a little rainy, but it's the sun is peeking through, so it's kind of on and off showers as, so far this morning. We went to Cabana's, which is the buffet for breakfast this morning, and got a whole bunch of different yummy things. We got like Mickey waffles and eggs and bacon and sausage and coffee. And they even have palm juice, which is like my favorite. So we got some of that. And then we came and got Riley some coffee here in Cove Cafe. So I'll show you that footage in a second. And then we wandered around the ship because we weren't able to explore the upper decks yesterday since it was pouring rain. So I'm gonna show you the footage of getting coffee here, which is where we are now, and wandering around the ship right now. We're at Cove Cafe, which is the coffee shop. And Riley's getting some cold brew. So it starts with the ice, and then it drips down into the grounds, and then that slowly drips into here. I could spend my entire trip in just this atrium. It is so gorgeous. Our ship exploration continues and we are in the adult only section. This is the pink champagne bar. It is adorable. It's closed right now for a private function but we're gonna have to head in there tonight. This is called District Lounge over here. And then back here, there's a few more. This is a bar at night. They have all the alcohol put away during the day. This is the pub. It's called Pub 687. It's like the sports bar. It's locked. At night they have like late night munchies for the adults in here. Fried food and whatnot. And then there's lots of bathrooms. And this is called Evolution. We're going to go in here and see what's going on. This is where there's a special photo. It's closed right now. I like how these tiles have these little lights under them. Yeah. Let me turn the brightness down so you can see them a little better. Look. This ship is just gorgeous. Every corner of it has like little magical touches. Little pink skylines. Um, how they do the different drinks and different skylines. Oh yeah, we didn't get to go in there last night. massive adult area. We're in this lounge called Evolution and we just saw a 20 minute or so presentation about how they built this ship and how they engineered it and all of the um, design choices and whatnot. It was fascinating. If you are on the ship and it's like a rainy day like it is today for us, I highly recommend doing it. It was really interesting. Oh, 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 we are doing a tile making class. My goal is it. Anyone? Goal is it no? Oh, nice, nice. In the pub.
And now we are back at Royal Palace to sit down and eat lunch. I got a marinated artichoke salad to start and Marley got a cheese and ham plate. What'd you get, Riley? I said an ahi tuna salad. And I got penne. Uh, yes, please. Ooh, this will be good footage. What kind of cheese is that in there? Ricotta. Thank you. Uh, we are loving this meal. I have never eaten that much pasta in one sitting, probably in my life. That was amazing. It was like this white wine cream sauce with fresh basil and Parmesan on top and ricotta. Oh my gosh, it was delicious. This is the best thing I've had so far. It's so good. There's olives and onions everywhere. It's a so good. This was amazing. And my salad, I scarfed down as well. Those artichokes were perfect. And they had lemon zest on. Mm. This meal. I don't miss cabanas right now. <laughs> Nor do I. Riley got a gelato caramel sundae. That looks really good. And I got a molten chocolate cake with vanilla ice cream. We are heading back to our stateroom after the most delicious lunch of all time. <laughs> they might be in it right now, actually. We're about to see. Our stateroom's all clean and pulled together. We just met our stateroom host. He was super sweet and just told us that if we needed anything that he was there for us. <clears throat> At lunch we were talking about um, our experience so far and just since we really didn't know what to expect. And the one thing that stands out is obviously the service, the Disney service, but the cast members, every single interaction that we have had with a Disney cast member has been absolutely 10 out of 10 excellent. Like every server that we've had, every person that we've asked questions to, every, like we just went to that building the Disney dream presentation, then we did the tile class, like those two people were amazing. Every person that we've bumped into and asked a question, like everyone has been amazing which makes the trip really fun because you just feel like you're being really well taken care of. So I think we're gonna take a nap, it's 1.30, take a short nap, and then I think we're gonna go enjoy the pool for the afternoon. We just woke up from an awesome nap and we are heading out the door to go ride the aqua dunk. now we just rode the aqua dunk it was so much fun we had such a good time it was way more intense than I expected it to be it was really fun now we are getting ourselves together for dinner and um, clearly I haven't done my hair yet but we're just pulling it together for dinner so I know somebody's gonna ask because today we were docked in Nassau and so this is a day it's a port day when you are able to get off of the ship and we clearly did not so the story is that we did not we weren't sure whether we were going to get off the ship here in Nassau because I had looked into the excursions and nothing really spoke to us as far as what we were interested in doing Secondly, we just spent, before we got on this cruise, we were fortunate enough to be at the beach for five days with my family for a family wedding. So we've already been to the beach, so that was the only thing that we were really interested in doing was would be to get off the ship and go walk to a local beach. But we just spent five days at the beach, so we weren't like super keen on doing that. And then also, finally, the weather was a little bit iffy today. It seems like it really did clear up today and that the people who did get off the ship were really able to enjoy themselves walking through Nassau but we weren't sure because this morning it was raining and then it stopped and it started raining again and so for all of those reasons and also for the fourth reason of we never really knew if we were going to get off the ship here we had always considered just staying on the ship and having a second day at sea basically because this is this ship is what we really want to explore um, we've been to many beaches before and in fact we went to the Bahamas for our honeymoon so 
that's kind of the story um, and we are so glad that we made that decision it was definitely the right decision for us today this day was so relaxing and wonderful we had a great breakfast in the morning and then we did uh, several different things we did that tile class we went to that seminar where they told us about how they built this amazing ship and then we uh, just all kinds of stuff we walked around we had the most delicious lunch of all time it was so good we took a nap like it was just so nice and relaxing and definitely the right choice for us versus having gotten off the ship and walked off through town so that's the story i'm such a fan of everyone doing whatever they want on their own vacations so if you want to stay on the ship the whole time on your cruise girl you do you and if you want to get off at every port you do you so that's the story so i'm going to finish getting ready and then we are seeing beauty and the beast tonight before dinner at animators palette both of which i am very much looking forward to so we're about to head out the door to dinner, but I wanted to show you this shirt that I've been wearing today. It is from my Etsy shop, which is BlairLambDesign.com. There is a link below, and it's a Mickey anchor that says cruise days are the very best days. If you're not familiar with my Etsy shop, I have a wide variety of styles and designs. I have v-necks, crew necks, two different kinds of tank tops, youth shirts, all kinds of stuff, lots of colors, and lots of Disney and non-Disney designs, so make sure you go check it out below. Here's the theater, we're the first ones here, I'm waiting. We just got into the theater for Beauty and the Beast and we have really good seats. We could have gotten the front row, but we want to be able to see the whole stage. Can't wait to see it. We'll give our review of Beauty and the Beast in a minute. Suffice to say, it was unreal. Unreal. I've never seen anything like that in my entire life. It was stunning. So now we're at Bon Voyage, this little bar. We're getting some drinks before dinner. What did you think about Beauty and the Beast? Look, it was like way better than it should have been. It was so good. Out of control. The whole time I was like, how are they doing this? And they kept doing things that I, I couldn't believe. So, that transformation at the end? Oh my gosh, it was incredible. I was like trying to figure out how they were doing it. Me too. I got the drink of the day, which is the yellow bird. It's like banana, pineapple, white rum, something like that. And Riley got something special, right? Um, no, the special one's upstairs. This is, but this is still fun. We are heading into Animator's Palette for dinner. This is Animator's Palette, check it out. We have a paintbrush for the butter, and the plates, and our table number. And here's what the restaurant looks like. Paintbrushes, and pencils. Riley got a drink. What is it? The Great Reef. The Great Reef. It's got uh, watermelon puree and butter. It looks great. It's really cool with it. Let's see. It's really sweet. You probably need to mix it up. I don't think it will. It's really good. It's tangy. Good stuff. I like that. I got, for an appetizer, butternut squash soup. And Riley got salmon tartare. Yeah. I also have the percets coming. He also has a pasta dish coming for his appetizer as well. And there's the pasta dish he ordered. How's this? Awesome. Very good. Very busy. Riley got the steak tenderloin. Steak tenderloin. And I got lemon thyme chicken with sour cream potatoes. So we're gonna dig in. Riley didn't get any dessert, but I got a Mickey bar. We just finished dinner and we're looking at this midship detective agency game. All over the ship. Okay, folks, the detective trainer Susan will now explain how to help. Can you really see it though? 
No, he can't see. We gotta give him his pupils. So right there in the center, don't touch your vertical line. You're gonna go ahead and draw those pupils. A plus, woo! Go check out the rest of our friends' drawings. They wanna see you work. Other side of the room. You can see it's a busy one because it's one of our best shows. My friend Brad and Brie are hosting that one. So you you proud? Stuff. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Goof though, man. What do you think so far? Pretty good stuff? Pretty good? Yeah. Uh, pretty good. <laughs> yeah. All artists have to sign and date. You heard them. Now, what's going to happen here is we are looking for families that really know each other. Maybe they think they know each other. That's what the name of the game is, so you think you know your family. And as you can see, there are four sets of chairs on stage. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for four families to join me. And here's what I need. From these four families, I need a smaller and a taller. Besides family members, who does your child look up to the most? This could be a celebrity, it could be a teacher, it could be an athlete, a singer, whoever you want. Who is your child's hero? Yeah. A teacher, what do you think? It could be a friend's mom if you want to, but it can't be someone in your family. Milo Mayhem, he's not Who? Milo Mayhem. Milo Mayhem. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> he's an actor? For Disney, of course, Milo Mayhem. A good old Milo Mayhem, we know, we know him. Hey Alex, you need to play. Go ahead. Zach Efron. Oh. Not a match. Oh. Also an actor for Disney. I was thinking of that one too. We were thinking of that one too. He's pretty cool. He's done a lot of great things. High school musical. Now he's doing his own stuff. Very good. Not a match, but only question number one. And finally, Darla. Who do you look up to the most? It can't be a family member. Mickey. Mickey Mouse? Isn't that like he's always fun and happy and, hey dad, did you put Mickey? No, so. Jojo Siwa. Aww. Who's Jojo Siwa? I have no idea. Who's Jojo? Jojo Siwa is a super famous actor. So she like wears bows all the time. Oh, she wears bows just like you. Okay, very so the bows right there. Okay. Well round number one is over. Thank goodness. Let's move on right now. Darla, you're just so darn cute. Isn't she cute, Val? Yeah. She's cute. Darla, everyone in your house is beautifully behaved, except on occasion. Who misbehaves the most? Phineas. Who's Phineas? Right there. Your brother? Yep. He's the one wearing the hat right there? Yeah. Are you is he crying right now? Are you what hat? He's like, I don't know, I don't know who I am. Phineas, is it you? He's like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. It's, it's getting really hot in here, isn't it? Hey Val, what you put? He dropped it like it's hot Phineas! <laughs> it's we just got back to our room and we have I think a little puppy. He's cute, He's along with our stuff for Castaway Key Day tomorrow and our bed is all turned down, it's so nice. Hey guys, it is just about midnight tonight. We have had such a fun day. I like don't wanna go to bed, I don't want it to end. From beginning to end, it's just been like amazing food, so much fun, we've done so many great things. So after dinner, we went and Riley did a few of the midship detective agency things which are like these hidden frames and you like hold up this card and it's this whole like ship-wide video game basically and so we went and did there's like a whole bunch of different stations and we did like a handful of them and then we went to this animators class where you learn how to draw goofy which was fun and then after that we we watched this game show that was for families that was called so you think you know your family and it was hilarious so it was one child and one adult from eat from four different families and it was like trivia you know that kind of thing and then after that we went to something that I've been really anticipating on this cruise, which is an adult-only 
trivia kind of newlywed style game which is called match your mate and basically the it's three it was three couples three hilarious couples and they had you know the three men leave the room first and they you know they asked the women three questions they brought the men back in and then they had them answer and they saw you know if, how well their answers matched and then they had the women leave um i didn't film any of that because it's not really something i want to put on my youtube channel it was hilarious very adult and just so funny um really really we just laughed and laughed and laughed so we had a really great night we are heading to bed oh, gosh i can't believe it's already midnight we are heading to bed now and we are doing the castaway key 5k in the morning and then we have a whole day full of fun and adventures there so make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for all of tomorrow's adventures i really appreciate you watching and i would love if you would leave a comment if you have ever spent a day on the ship when you're in port what you like to do or if you've been to nassau what you like to do or just how you're doing today you guys know i love to chat with you so i'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching bye